Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alex, if you guys are new here, and welcome. Today, obviously by the title, we have another declutter hearing video going on. These are all of my bronzers, and it's definitely getting a little overcrowded in here, and we need to get this stuff out. We need to clean this drawer, we need to go through it, we need to declutter it, because like I've said before, nobody can work in a dirty space. So I do have a whole decluttering series up here on my YouTube channel with tons of decluttering videos, and cleaning videos of my room and my beauty room for all the tappy sounds that you guys love so go ahead and make sure you check out all my decluttering videos and without further ado let's go ahead and jump into today's decluttering video with all of these bronzers all right you guys know the drill i like to take everything out of the door first so we can clean the door and then we can put it back in as we decide if we like it or if we're going to keep it so let's go ahead and get everything out of this drawer right here Okay guys, so I've got my bin right here per usual of all of the stuff that I go ahead and declutter out of my personal collection and I move over either to like my professional freelance makeup artist kit because I don't want it in my personal collection. I'm giving it to friends and family. I'm donating it. You know, whatever needs to be done. I always do that. You know, disclaimer every video. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. I put all of my makeup into these clear acrylic organizers once I decided we're keeping it or not. I get all of this kind of stuff from Amazon. You just type in, you know, blush compact organizer, bronzer compact organizer, clear acrylic makeup organizer, and all kinds of things like this will pop up. So that is where I get these guys for my makeup collection. So let's go ahead and hop um, right into this. So I do know that I have two MAC bronzers. I have Global Glow, which is this guy right here, which is like a shimmery kind of highlighter. I accidentally bought this on accident. Um, it's one of their like dimensional skin finishes. So I was trying to buy a uh, soft and gentle, but I actually for some reason got this one. Um, in global glow but it actually is really pretty especially when you have a tan like in the summertime it's almost like a bronzer kind of topper kind of shimmery um keeping it because mac is expensive and i do like it whenever i'm really tan and my skin looks really good and i have like a matte bronzer and i feel like my skin needs a little bit more like healthy glow to it um so i do like this guy i just don't get a ton of use out of it because obviously i didn't mean to buy it but i do like it and then this is the ever so famous mac give me sun bronzer i love this bronzer it's very 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 warm um but it does look good on my more all over skin tone and this one was a present for my mom from christmas so i am going to keep both of my mac bronzers And then I do know that I have two Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzers. These are just their powder bronzer. I have the shade Rich Amber, which is right here. And I have the shade Tawny, which is right here. This one is a lot more like cooler and red toned. Um, I did get both of these guys at TJ Maxx because the Anastasia powder products, their bronzers and the blushers are always there. So I got these guys on sale. Um, and I do really like these guys. They're very pigmented and very good bronzers. So I'm definitely keeping both of these for sure. Um, this bronzer right here is called the Butte Basics Bronze Essential. I got this guy in a box charm and it kind of has like regular bronzer, gold shimmer, shimmery bronzer. I don't know really what's going on with it. It just kind of is like a big mixture of everything, you know. And one bronzer thing and it's like super powdery and super duper shimmery and i did keep my mac global go one that's very similar to this so i don't need both of them so i'm gonna let this guy go and then i also have this guy right here which is a smashbox bronzer it's their bron lights bronzer in the shade deep matte I got this one last year at TJ Maxx whenever I was super duper tan and all my bronzers were like barely showing up. Um, but this guy is pretty stinking dark, but it is a really good bronzer if you are really dark. So I'm going to keep this for the summer if I get that tan again. 
And then this one is a more recent purchase of mine, again, from TJ Maxx. This is the NARS bronzer in the shade Seaside. And this is a really, really, really good bronzer. I love the tone of it. It's like kind of warm, but kind of cool. Like you could contour with it. You could also bronze with it. And the formula is pressed really well that it's not super powdery and gets all over the place. So this bronzer has been one of my recent loves. And again, I found this at TJ Maxx. There's been so much NARS stuff at TJ Maxx, but this bronzer I love. Definitely keeping this guy. I feel like I'm liking the aesthetic of all the black packaging. I love black packaging on makeup, you guys. So this is the Bare Minerals um, Ready Bronzer in the shade The Skinny Dip. And this is a really good bronzer as well. Not super shimmery. I love Bare Minerals products. They glide on the skin beautifully. They blend really well. Definitely one of my favorite bronzers for sure. You guys can tell that I've gotten a lot of love out of this guy. And I love the soft touch um, packaging on Bare Minerals stuff. And then this right here is the Sephora bronzer. This is in the shade number four, Fiji. And this is probably one of the coolest tone bronzers that I have. This bronzer is really, really good for contouring because it's not super duper warm. It's perfect for contouring and not worrying about being, you know, too warm. And I think this is pretty much one of the only bronzers that I have like this. It also has a tiny, tiny bit of sheen to it, so it's not completely flat matte. So I do want to keep this guy as well when I want to do those, like, heavy contouring moments. But I do really like this bronzer. It blends really well as well. Okay, guys, moving along. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Medium to Deep Bronzer. Again, a fantastic bronzer, not too warm, not too cool, just perfect right in the middle. Cult favorite. I use this one all the time on my channel. You guys know I love this one a lot. I'm not going to get rid of this guy anytime soon. This is the bronzer by Model Cult. It's their bronzer shimmer bronzer. This bronzer literally has tiny little flecks of gold shimmer in it. I don't know if you guys can see it but it does have really tiny flecks of like gold shimmer in it so let me swatch this guy i mean it's a really pretty color but i've already kept a couple shimmery bronzers so this i just i just don't really need this okay and then i have two of these bh cosmetics bronzers i have coco cutie which is this guy right here and then i have bronze babe which is this one right here they honestly look really similar now that I'm looking at them. Let me swatch them. Wow, these are like super pigmented. And you know what? There's a pretty vast difference in these guys. Because this one's really more cool toned and red. And this one's way more warm. So just kind of depending on the tone that you're in. And I like the way that these blend. So you know what? These I actually am uh, going to keep. Okay, guys. Next up, this is the CoverGirl True Blend Bronzer in the shade 200 Bronze. You guys have seen this on my channel a lot. It's a really cool, like, marbled bronzer. So it has, like, a little bit of highlighter in it, a little bit of bronzer. This is, like, the perfect summertime glow bronzer. Um, I use this a ton. And this is one of my favorite, you know, drugstore bronzers. So for that reason, I'm going to keep this guy. Even though it is a little shimmery and I've kept a couple other shimmery bronzers, this one I do like a lot. And you guys have seen it on my channel. And then speaking of drugstore bronzer, one of my ultimate faves, the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Literally hit pan on this guy. You guys know how amazing this is. Everybody in our mom talks about it. It literally smells like a beach. Uh, this is an amazing bronzer. Definitely not going to let this guy leave my collection. However, this packaging is too bulky for my organizer, so I always have to set it on the top and kind of squish it in there a little bit. Um, here is a drugstore bronzer I'm usually, I'm not really that excited about. This is the Ensense Luminous Matte Bronzer, and exactly what it says. It's a luminous little like strip in the center, almost like, like a highlighter. And then the outside is bronzer, but it's so light. It's like the color of my skin tone almost, or lighter, and it does not show up in me, so decluttering this guy. I have two of the Hula bronzers. I have the Hula Original, which is like a cult favorite. Everybody loves this. I've hit pan on it. It's amazing. I'm definitely not going to let this guy go anywhere. It's just like a staple. I feel like every makeup lover has Hula. And I also have Hula Light, um, which has a big dent in it as well. Um, I can't really use this one too much anymore now that I tan. Um, so I'm going to declutter this guy out of my collection and keep this guy. 
This right here is my favorite bronzer so far to date. This is the Cover FX Monochromatic Bronzer Duo. It comes with a matte side and a shimmery side, so you can choose if you want to make it a satin finish, an all shimmery finish, or an all matte finish. The tone of this bronzer is literally the definition of my perfect color. I will probably never not go without this bronzer, so this is like my baby right now. You guys know I'm obsessed with these monochromatic duos. I want to get every single shade and I want to line them up and literally just take a picture of them and keep them for the rest of my life because I literally am in love with them. Okay guys, what do we have next? I see this guy. This is the Bahama Mama Bronzer by The Balm. Everybody knows about this guy. It's a really nice cool toned contouring bronzer. It's kind of really similar to the Sephora uh, branded bronzer, um, but this guy is also really good. I have not used it in a while and I don't know really why because it's such a good bronzer. It's such a good tone. Um, I'd love to get more use out of this because I did buy this guy with my own money and I did really like it. So I'm going to put this back in my collection more up front, you know, where I can see it and hopefully I'll get more use out of it now that I'll see it because I don't think I'm ready to let go of that guy quite yet. Okay, this one right here is only a mini, but I only bought a mini because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it, but it's literally one of my favorite bronzers. Um, this past couple months. It's the Fenty Beauty Shady Biz Bronzer and this little tiny baby has lasted me a long time. When I burn through this little guy, I'm gonna get the full size for sure, but this is like one of my favorites along with the Cover FX Duo. I've been using these guys a lot in my videos as you guys have seen, so definitely gonna keep this guy. I'm not gonna let it go anywhere. I'm gonna keep it right up front so I remember it too since it's a little baby. This is the Wet n Wild Cushion um, Bronzer Highlighter in the shade contour so it's kind of like their cushion foundation um but in a bronzer form i actually haven't even not used this in a really long time i wonder if it's still even like wet i mean yeah it's still squishy i mean yeah actually that still has a lot of pigment and i really like the tone of it um, and I like the idea of having at least one drugstore option of a liquid, you know, contouring product. So this I probably am going to keep. I just thought it was empty, so I hadn't been touching it. But when I was using this, I did really like it. So I'm going to put this back in my collection. Hopefully, now that I know that it's still working, I'll get a little bit more use out of it. I have two of these Rimmel bronzers. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Bronzer. This one is so old in my collection, you guys. I have had this one for so long. Okay guys, and then I have two Rimmel bronzers here. I have the Rimmel Stay Matte Bronzer in 022 Sun Bronze. This one is so old, you guys. I've had this since like when I lived at my mom's house. And then, whoa. See, they just want to go straight into the declutter pile. <laughs> this is the Rimmel Bronzer 03 Dark in the Shimmer Brick right here. And this one is newer than the other one. This one even feels better than the other one. The other one is really dried out actually neither one of these have very very much pigment anymore like you can barely see that so i don't know what's going on with these these gotta go they're old bye then i have this pure cosmetics bronzer right here in the shade mineral glow this is another one of those kind of like more shimmery esque bronzers um but i do like this one a lot because it's the least shimmery out of all the shimmery ones that i've kept so i'm gonna keep this guy and then this is the Bare Minerals Bronzer in the shade Warmth. I've had this guy for a really long time. I have not used it in a long time either. Bare Minerals used to be like my jam, man. I used to use so many Bare Minerals products. And this bronzer is actually stunning. So I want to keep this. And I want to try to get back into it and see, you know, kind of where that goes. Where that takes me. Because I just haven't used it in so long. And then I have one little mini Too Faced bronzer right here. This is in the shade Sun Bunny. And again, a really nice, like, little pretty small shimmery bronzer. So I'm probably going to keep this guy just for travel. So I have, like, at least two mini options right here. And I have one liquid bronzer. This is the Tempt 2 liquid bronzer right here. This is really good to, like I said, liquid bronze, liquid contour, or darken foundations if they are too light for you and it's a really good neutral undertone. Um, and the only other liquid I kept is this one from Wet n Wild. So I want to keep one high end and one low end option for those liquid 
bronzers for sure. Then I have three bronzer palettes right here. The first one is the Pure Cosmetics Sculptor Palette. This I like a lot. It has two different tones of bronzer and then two highlighters in here. This is a really good travel palette. I got this one in a box charm. I'm definitely going to keep this guy for sure. This is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer Palette. Again, got this one recently in a boxy charm as well. This is really good, again, for travel or just on your makeup vanity because it has so many tones of bronzer from matte and shimmer and two highlighters. This I really, really, really like a lot as well. And if I don't use it too much on myself, I could retire it to my freelance makeup artist kit since it has so many good Whoa. tones in it. And then the last one that I've got right here is this really old Christmas edition Bare Minerals um, bronzer kit. Obviously, as you guys can see, I loved this shade. This one's a darker bronzer shade, and then this is a highlighter. This is so old, you guys. I have to retire this, but it makes me very sad because Bare Minerals was one of my first favorite brands that I used to ever, ever, ever use. So I'm going to let this go because I kept this Bare Minerals bronzer and the Bare Minerals warmth bronzer. So I'm going to let this guy go even though know, it breaks my heart. <laughs> Okay, you guys, that is it. This is everything that we're keeping as far as bronzers go. I know it's more than, you know, what the average person needs, but this is what I do all the time. This is my life. This is my job. So I do love all of these products that I'm keeping, and I did declutter quite a few bronzers, so I am pretty proud of myself there, getting ones out of my collection that I'm not using and that are way old. So thank you guys so much for stopping by today's video and watching me declutter all my bronzers. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up so other people watching declutter videos can find this one. It really helps me out a ton. Leave me a comment in the comment bar down below of which section of my makeup collection you guys would like to see next for my declutter. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys!